Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Sal Travels. Today I'll be showing you how to cross into Tijuana, Mexico using the San Isidro side. So in the last episode I showed you guys how to cross in the Chaparral, uh, which is the the far the further um entrance and this is the this is considered the older border crossing. It's the one that's been here a long a longer time and um and it's still open, so I'm going to show you guys how to cross over using this side. Some people prefer this side because it has uh, more parking, has more shops um, right before the border entrance. And, you know, people are just used to it. It has more, more money exchanges and whatnot. So uh, this is the parking lot behind the Jack in the Box. Um, behind the Jack in the Box, there's a little entrance. And this parking is $12 a day on the weekends so uh, this is a weekend uh, this was filmed on November 2nd and you know parking had a weekend rate so as you can see you come out you'll see the parking rates right here And all you do is walk down this sidewalk here. And once you're at the end, you'll be um, right by the trolley stop. So to the right here, you can see the Jack in the Box. And to the at the far end of the screen, you'll see the main avenue, which I believe is San Isidro Boulevard or something like that. So another reason people like to uh, cross on this one is because they park at a trolley station uh, further inland and then they take the trolley in and the trolley stop, the last trolley stop of, uh, of uh, this route uh, is right here. It stops right in front of the entrance to the border crossing. So that's a good way to get here uh, for people that don't like parking here right at the border. So what you'll do is cross the street and you can see on the far right, actually across the street now, you can see the stairs coming down. Uh, if you take that uh, bridge all the way across, you'll end up at the other border crossing, the Chaparral. So that's um, just so you get an idea of where we are. Uh, right now on the right, you'll see the, the tracks for the trolley. This is where the trolley stops. This is where the trolley picks you up to go back into San Diego and across the tracks are the trolley that you would, you know, get dropped off in. I'm sorry, it's the other way around. So here's a money exchange. Uh, the first one we'll see, there's a McDonald's in this mall and there's a Citibank ATM and I'm gonna get some money. So I've gotten some uh, some money exchange. It was a uh, 18 something. Um, you can see another money exchange on the right here. And that big building, that big gray building on the right is where you would come out if you were to cross from Tijuana, Mexico into San Isidro again. But for now, we're gonna go into Mexico. So we're gonna go straight. You can see the signs here. It says the San Isidro crossing and it says to Mexico straight. So we're gonna just follow this path Usually there's a crowd of people, you just follow them. If not, the signs are pretty straightforward. There's always officers walking around, they're standing around. You can always ask them if you get confused.
Now, for those of you that uh, have crossed here before, you notice this is a new path. Behind this wall on the left is where the old path was. You would have to, you would walk up that and then uh, go right in through the turnstiles. But now they made this little path because, you know, they added palm trees and stairs and, and a ramp, more lighting at night. It feels nicer and it feels safer. And after you come out um, that little area, you'll you'll join in, you'll join back with the ramp that used to be. So this uh, pathway is part of the old entrance. So now it's back to the way it used to be. So it was just that one entrance part that was new, but it's the same path. You follow it the same way, and there's no way you can really get lost once you're on this path. So. To the left is just a mountain and to the right if you look down to the right it's the you know the the um the building where you come out of if you were to cross from tijuana and here's a mexico sign it's a good photo op area so then from there once you go through the turnstiles you're officially in the area where you get checked take uh you take two paths one of them is for foreigners and the other one is for uh mexicans so you, st you stay to the right if you're not a mexican if you are a mexican you go left and you keep going and you skip this whole fiasco this line takes a couple of minutes depending on how many officers are working And I wasn't able to show you guys there, but you know, I you you show your passport, you fill out the form, you they ask you why you're going, and then you put your luggage through here. And that's pretty much it. And then you're on your way out. Um, once you hit the outside of this part, then you're officially in Mexico. You can see to the right. You're up high now, you went up the ramp, and now you can see that there's a huge line of cars for people going back into the US. This road directly below us is for service vehicles only, official vehicles. And once you start walking, you will end up uh, where the taxi stand is and food and shops and all that. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, they ask you for your, you know, the usual stuff, just like the last video. They ask you for your passport. What's your reason for coming to Mexico and how many days you're going to be staying? That way they'll issue you the visa. I believe if you say you're staying over seven days, then you have to pay. But anything under seven days, you you just get the visa. Over here, there are people offering wheelchairs for people that can't really walk. There, there's uh, people with uh, hand trucks offering to take your luggage if you have a lot. And of course, you pay them a tip and, and they'll do it. Here on the left is where the official employees park. And as you're walking this path, all you have to do is follow it. Right here is going to turn left because um, it used to go straight, but now it doesn't. So they make you go left. It's all gated anyway, so you can't go straight whether you wanted to. Um, so you go left, and then you're just going to follow the path. You know, uh, during certain times, weekends and at night, there are more people... Um, either playing music for money or asking, begging for money or selling candy or whatever. Um, but right now it's daytime, so there's really no one around.
off to the off in the distance you can see three buildings those are the new city apartments those are I think those are like two two thousand dollars and up those apartments they're uh, luxury apartments and I'm assuming mostly Americans live there so at this point you're gonna start getting your your strip club uh, shuttle requests and your taxi drivers trying to get you to get in their taxi um, what I do here is I just ignore everybody because even if you do get a taxi driver here, you have to walk with him to the end anyway. So what's the point? And he's probably has he probably has his taxi parked further than you what you would be if you were to get a taxi at the stand. So they're just trying to beat the line of taxi drivers trying to get a customer. And then from here, you'll hit the turnstiles. Once you hit the turnstiles, you're officially in Mexico. And um, most cell phone plans have Mexico included for talk and text and data. So um, at least mine does. This is where I'd ask for an Uber. I prefer Uber over taxi because taxis kind of make up their prices still. See some, uh, some vendors on the left and right. If you were to get a taxi, you would go to the right where that van is going right now, and that's where the taxi stand is. If you were to take a bus into downtown, uh, like a collective bus where everybody gets in, that would be the van on the left here. And if you were to take um, more taxis or pick up, uh, uh, have an Uber pick you up, you would cross the street. So if you were to cross the street, the Ubers usually meet you by the pharmacy right across the street. So right here is where you would cross. Um, once you hit the sidewalk, you make a right. And then that first building is the pharmacy uh, slash drugstore, you know, in a convenience store. And that's where I, uh, Ubers usually pick up. It's the safest way to go. And from here, you're in Tijuana. Enjoy your time. Always be safe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any comments, write down below. And please subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. Anything you want to see, let me know down below. And I'll be sure to answer it. Thank you, guys.